Flex LoRa models are really hyped out these days and this is because they generate very realistic lifelike images. And in this video, I'm gonna share a platform where you can find a lot of Flex LoRa models and you can even train your own LoRa model. So I'm very excited. Let's dive in. So this platform is called Shaker AI and this is an all-in-one AI tool. You can find automatic 1111, you can find comfy UI, you can train your own LoRa models in it. And this is not just limited to the Flux AI, you can even find the checkpoints for the stable diffusion. And if I keep on scrolling down, you can see this is an endless list where you can find different kind of Flux LoRa models, you can find the different checkpoints and you can find a variety of style like the anime, photorealistic, cinematic, gaming style, animation style, manga style. So it's an endless kind of list and because they offer the flexibility to train your own models in it so that's why you can find some really awesome models generated by the community but if you want to find any checkpoints or any specific model you can click on this all type and you can apply the filter for that so if we look at that what models they have they have the stable diffusion 1.5 2.1 sdxl stable diffusion 3 flux and these are a couple of more models like Colorous, Playground version 2, Lumina. So you can find almost every AI image generator here. So because we are focusing on the Flux AI, so I'm going to select the filter for Flux 1. And now you can see we have all of the checkpoints and LoRa models just created for Flux AI. And if I scroll down, you can see this is an endless list. And I don't think there is any other place where you can find this amount of LoRa models for Flux AI. So why not to try a few of them like this film photography style. And you can see these are some of the demo images. And look at the quality man. It really looks like a cinematic film style. And these are some of the demo images. And to use this model, just click on this run model and you will have this interface in front of you. So now you can see we have the prompt section and on the right side you can see we have the model. So you can also control the strength of your model which is by default 0.8 and I would like to keep it around 0.8 and then we have the image reference option like control pose and all that stuff. So if you want to play around with this one it depends on you because we have the lot of customization in it just like the stable diffusion. Then we have the image size you can select the aspect ratio then you can also select the number of images and just like stable diffusion we have the sampling steps option we have the cfg scale option so if you have already used the stable diffusion you know about these settings now let's give it any prompt a woman wearing a white tank top with short hairs standing near a phone booth and hit generate and to generate the four images prompt this will cost you around 36 credits and if you're on a free plan you will get 200 credits on a daily basis that means you will be able to generate 20 to 25 images per day and this is a good number of images all right so these are the output results and if we look at this in a wide screen this is the first image and this is very impressive to be honest the skin tones looks very natural and this is the second image this is the third one and this is the last and I have to say these are very realistic images but you can also notice some kind of shininess to the skin that some people will don't like and to fix this just increase the weightage value and I would like to keep it around 2 which is the maximum and let's hit generate all right so these are the output results and now you can see we have much more realistic results than the previous one and now you can also notice there is no shininess in the image the skin is very textured and we don't have that smoothness that we have seen in the previous images and here's a one more output and this one also looks very very realistic so that's how you can get rid of that shininess in the images now let's try this film photo style and if we look at the example images, just look at this image, how realistic it looks. Just look at the skin texture pose. This is very realistic. So simply run this model and this time we're going to try this prompt. An Asian couple on a Tokyo street at night, film photography, cold tones. And again, I'm going to use the higher weightage values and make sure to enable the improve prompt option because this will add some more details in your prompt. All right. So these are the results and it really looks like a film photo style and look at the background, look at the skin textures, each and everything looks good. And I really impressed by the color tones that it used in this image. And this is the one more image, obviously very good output. And this is the last output. Yes, there is something that is not right in this image, but overall the other images looks very realistic. Well, this AI tool is not just limited here. We have the built-in in painting option. We have the built-in upscaler, background remover and out painting option and we even have the image face wrapper. So we have a large number of flexibility in this AI tool but my favorite is their creative upscaler. So I want to upscale this image so I will click on that and hit upscale button and even in their upscaler we have lot of customization. You can control the strength of your upscaler, you can control the style, you can control the details, you can control the HDR effect so it all depends on you. So let's upscale this image. So here is the upscale version and now you can see the before and after and obviously you can notice a lot of 
of details in the background, on the clothes, the skin, the hairs, each and everything is improved. But the problem with the creative upskill that it changes the facial features a little bit. And to fix this thing, you can increase the similarity slider and then generate your image. And here we have the more controlled version and it looks more similar to our initial image but you can also play around with different sliders the field is yours but you can also try the other realistic flux loras like this portrait style and this cinematic lora model all of them are very realistic now to train your own lora model just click on this train a lora and then you need to select the model on what model you want to train your lora so because we are talking about the flux ai i'm gonna go with this one and then you can select the checkpoints and we have few more settings like repeat e ports and to be honest i really don't know about these settings but if you know about this one let me know in the comment section and now you need to upload your images and make sure your image format is png jpg or jpeg so here i have the images of a social media influencer and you can also notice i named all of these images with the same name and this is very important because we're going to use this word as our triggered word so let's upload all of them well i'm uploading 17 images but the more are better so once you have uploaded all of them click on the crop and tag and then select your image and give a tag to your images so i will use the same tag for all of my images like current and hit return and now you can see the same tag has been applied to all of our images so here you can see the same tag has been applied to every single image now click on the start button and this will start training your lora well this process can take about 20 to 30 minutes so sit back and take a cup of tea okay so our model has been trained so just select your model and hit test lora all right so now we have this interface in front of us and if i scroll down and click on the model section you can see we have multiple models so we're gonna select our model which was this one and just increase the values upside and in the prompt because our triggered word was current so i'm gonna type current wearing a tank top and hit generate all right so here is the output from our lora model and look at that this is looking almost 90 percent similar to our character so this was the initial image of our influencer and look at that both of them looks very identical and one more thing that just look at the details in the hair you can see the skin texture this is so much detailed image so now we have the trained lora model so we can generate as many images as we want so that's how you can train your own lora model on flux ai but if you want to use the pre-trained lora models just to get the realistic results we have a list of them so because in a free plan you are getting 200 credits on a daily basis but if you want to upgrade to their premium plan these are the plans that you can look after and i think this is worth upgrading if you are working on a big project so the link is in the description below go ahead and check this out so that's it from today i hope you enjoyed this video and if you guys did give it a thumbs up and see you guys in the next one